Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Before starting this video, I am going to say thank you to these people. They have helped me through the Patreon. Because of them, I managed to buy a new camera lens for my DSLR. I really appreciate your support. Anyway, today, we are going to create this. Let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Horror Film Title. I am using the 1920 by 854 resolution, just to create a wide frame for our title sequence. Also, I am using 23.976 frames per second, to achieve a film look. You are free to use your own settings. Now, import this grumpled paper image into your project, you can download it from the link in the description. Place this image on the timeline, and then press S, to open scale. Now change the scale value, so that it should fit our frame size. Perfect, now import your image into the project, you can even use any video you want. The process is the same for both. First of all, select the image layer, and press S to open scale. Again, change the scale value, so that it can fit the frame size. For me, the size is 40%, but it could be different for your image or video. Now right click on it, and select pre-compose. Let's call it image 001. Make sure to select the move all attributes into the new composition. Else, you may find the process is bit complicated. Hit OK, and now we are going to make this layer a 3D layer, by using the switches. If you don't find your switch tab here, press F4, to switch between. If your F4 key is busy in celebrating the kiss day with the F3, then give him some time, and right click here, go to the columns, and select mods, as well as switches. We are going to need both of these, that's why we are choosing them. Now change the image 1 mode, to multiply, and it will have this nice looking paper texture. Perfect. Now go to the effects and presets, and search for the tint effect. Apply it onto the image layer. And then again search for the levels. Apply it to the same image layer and then adjust the contrast of it. If you drag this bar to the right, it will make the dark more darken. Let's decrease the output white value, to make this image darker. Adjust the white as well, and here is the image looking now. Cool. Let's make it darker more. Perfect. Let's select this layer and make it 3D, by clicking here. Now press S, to open scale, and change the scale value to 110%. Let's import our crack texture image to the project. And then place it in the timeline. Change its blending mode to screen and then click here to make it 3D as well. Now, press P, to open position, and change the last position value to negative 1000. Now press S, to open scale, and increase the scale value by up to 200%. Place the image position to something like here, so that it can cover your entire frame. Let's add the same level effect to it, then drag this bar to the right, and now the crack will look like this. Cool, this looks good to me. Align the position, and let's move to the next step. 
It's time to import our lens dirt image to the project. Each element of this tutorial is downloadable, please check the link in the description. Place the image on top of all layers, and then make this layer a 3D as well. Now press P, to open position, and change the last position value to negative 1500. If you zoom out your project window, you can see our image is so huge in size, so press S, to open scale, and decrease the scale value to make it this big. Change its mode to screen, and now let's add our text. Go to the tools, and select text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. You can download this font from the link in the description as well. Select the move tool, and align the text to the center, or anywhere you want. Let's make the text layer, a 3D layer as well. And then change its last position value to negative 500. I am using the font size of 27, you are free to choose your own style. Let's animate the text. Make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the slow fade on. You will find it under the text, animate in. Apply it onto the text layer. Now press U, to open keyframes, and place the keyframes position according to your need. Select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Let's minimize all layers, by selecting all of them, and then press U. Perfect. Now create a new solid. And we will call it light. Make it to the comp size, and then change its color to black. Again, go to the tools, and this time, select the rectangle tool, press and hold on it, to see more options. And then select this ellipse tool. Double click on it to make a perfect ellipse. In case double click is not working for you, you can make the ellipse manually. Now select the light layer, and press M, to open a mask. Here change the mask to subtract. And then press F, to open feather. Here change the feather value to 300 pixels. It will attach this nice looking vignette to the frame. Let's turn down the opacity of the crack texture layer, because it is distracting the design. Perfect. It's time to animate it. But before, minimize all layers, to get some room. Now create a new camera. And select the 50mm preset. And then hit OK. Press P to open position. And then add a keyframe on it. Make sure you are at the first frame. Then go to around 10 seconds forward. And from the tool, press and hold on this camera tool. From these tools, select the unified camera tool. And then start dragging the camera to something like this. Make sure to move the camera, in very small amount. If you move it in a higher amount, it will degrade all the design. Just use the amount to add some minimal animation only. As you can see, we have this nice looking camera animation. Now select both keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Ram preview this, and see if you are happy with it. Cool. I cannot see the movement of the image layer, so let's change its position, and make it closer to the camera. So that you can see the movement. Perfect. This looks good to me. Our first slide is complete. Let's see how to make some more slides. First, create a new composition. Let's call it slides. I am using the same setting for it. 
Now place this horror film title comp to the timeline, because it is going to be our first slide. Please note, do not duplicate the title comp from the timeline, instead, select these both comps from the project panel. Go to edit, and select duplicate. Now add this horror film title too, into the timeline, and then choose the start point of it. I am going to place it on the 6th second. Now select the top layer, press T, to open opacity, and then add a keyframe on it. Go to the 10 second point, and here change the opacity value to 0%. Perfect. Let's change the image for this bottom comp. Double click to open this composition. Here we have this image 1 comp, we are going to replace it, with the copy of this comp, we have just created. So select this comp, press and hold the ALT key, on your keyboard, and drag it onto the image 1 comp. Now we have the different comp of the image, but with the same settings of the last comp. Now you can change the image of it. Open this comp, and then select the next image or video you want to add into the slide. Place this image on the timeline, and then adjust the size of it. Switch back to the title 2 comp. And then change the text of it. Select the text tool, and start typing your text. Go to the last keyframe of the camera animation. Press C, to grab the camera tool and here change to camera position to something different from the last slide. Perfect. Our both slides are complete. It's time to add the suitable music to it. I am using this horror type of music, but you can use the suspense music as well. Place the music file on the timeline, and RAM preview this. Our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. And one more thing, always love your partner, no matter what. You are the lucky one, who can taste the love. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.